Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilburn is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and this is my latest deck experiment, where, of course, I experiment with new deck ideas, and since the Witchwood is still new, I'm still moving through a bunch of Witchwood legendary cards in particular, and this time around, it's the Black Howl Gunspire for Warrior, and seeing if this card is any good at all. Now, of course, there are some crazy ways to, like, build a deck completely around Black Howl Gunspire, where you try to set up OTK combos and all these silly things. That's not really what I want to do in this experiment. I want to see if Black Hell Gunspire can just fit into a deck, if it can be played in a reasonable fashion and still obtain some value as just a card, not a card that you build a deck around. So that said, this is essentially a Black Hell Gunspire Tempo Warrior deck experiment, and I think you'll see what I mean once we jump into the deck creation process as it was recorded live on my Twitch stream. So let's build a turret warrior. I don't know if this is going to be good at all. It probably won't be, but I feel like somebody's probably already made a good version of this, and that's fine. I don't care. I'm not trying to make the best version. We're just trying to learn a little bit, guys. Trying to uh, trying to figure out some interactions and see what makes sense and doesn't make sense. Even if it sucks, we'll learn a little bit about it just because it sucks, right? So we want uh, Black Owl Gunspire, obviously. I don't know why it's called turret. It's not even called a turret. Let's just call it Gunspire Warrior. Why do people call it turret warrior? I don't even know. That's just the name I've heard. Uh, but we're going to call it Gunspire Warrior. I don't need to write warrior. That's obvious from the artwork. Gunspire Whirlwind. Okay. So clearly Gunspire is going to be there, but I don't want to like try to build some OTK or anything like that. I want Gunspire to be just sort of a value piece, just like another, um, just like another legendary in the set that synergizes with Whirlwinds, right? Like I want, I honestly kind of want like a Tempo Warrior that happens to run a few good Whirlwind cards at the top end, right? So it might even include some Rush stuff too, right? It's mostly just about... Okay, I'm going on vacation. <laughs> Enjoy the X-Pack. See y'all soon. Hey, PLK, man. Thank you so much for the 2,000 bits, dude. That's really generous and nice. I appreciate it. Do you mind us asking where you're going? How long you're going to be gone? I'm going to miss you, man. I'm going to miss you, dude. I, uh, I'm curious where you're headed. I'm jealous. Vacation sounds fun. I'm just adding a bunch of cards right now, guys. Don't Don't pay attention. I'm not thinking about this too much. I'm just um, seeing what fits in here, and then we're going to go back and tweak it, of course, right? We're going to figure out what we like, what we don't like, what doesn't make sense. I'm just anything that kind of looks remotely similar to the sort of things I want, I'm grabbing right now. And then we'll start to refine, right? We'll, 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 uh, we'll dial this in a little bit. I'm just sort of grabbing good cards that are whirlwind-based, that are uh -huh. minion damage-based. Um, Philippines? Oh, crazy, dude. Nice PLK, man. Um, my, my fiance's family's from the Philippines. She's half Filipino. Uh, she's gone a few times to visit her family and stuff, extended family over there, but I've never been yet, but I eventually assume someday in my life I will have to go to the Philippines. Maybe have to is not the right what's the word to say, but I just feel a bit that way, I'll be honest. Uh, I uh, probably have to, but, but get to. I'll get to go to the Philippines sometime in my life, perhaps. That is, I, I think, uh, something that is going to occur eventually. Presumably. So I'm jealous, man. It's going to be nice. I bet weather and fruits and beautiful places to see. As long as you stay in the right spots, I think. Uh, actual whirlwind? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe actual whirlwind is worth it. I don't know, though. We do have Bloodraiser and Warpath already. I don't know that actual whirlwind is worth it. I'm not convinced yet. But we can add one in. Um, so, okay, I just threw a bunch of cards together, right? Like, we just threw everything in the deck that seemed to fit at all, right? So, basically, we're damaging our own stuff. That benefits a lot of our late-game legendaries, like Gunspire, Grom, Rotface. Those all benefit from Whirlwinds. Garrosh empowers the Whirlwinds, right, with his hero power as well. So, I actually, I'm going to cut Whirlwind. I don't think it's right. Now, what I also added were... were Minions that take damage and linger on the board, like uh, Rush minions like Red Band Wasp and Militia Commander and Crowley. It's not a full Rush deck, but those are just good with cards like Battle Raids, for instance, right? And that's going to be helpful for us. Um, we're a little light on three, though, if you look at the curve here. and We're a little heavy on turn two. I added Fireflies just to help beat Paladin. I think that's going to be important, just to get little minions out. Um... Do I need, like, Execute, for instance? Is this necessary? What is Execute going to help uh -huh. us do that we can't otherwise do? 
Like, is this good against Paladin? No. Is it good against Warlock? No. Is it good against Druid? It can be with spiteful stuff. It can be good. Is it good against Hunter? No. I don't think we want an Execute. I don't think that's going to be important for us. I think most decks we're going to get by with, like, Warpath removal and just Rush removal, right? So I don't think Execute's good. Don't cut Whirlwind. We have so many Whirlwinds, guys. I don't know... I don't know why we need another one. I mean, just for Gunspire? I don't think that's going to be worth it. We have the Hero Power. We have Hero Power. We have uh, Blood Razors. We have... We can slam our own Gunspire if we need to, right? Like, we can Warpath a lot. I mean, we have we have 10 Whirlwinds right here, basically. I, I don't feel like we need Whirlwind. I don't know. Sudden Genesis is a cool idea, I think. Um... If we ran Sudden Genesis, we might want a Whirlwind, because we need cheaper activations, right? Because Warpath is not very good with Sudden Genesis. Um, so maybe Whirlwind does make sense there. Right. Sudden Genesis is, is pretty neat. It's good with Gunspire, good with Grom, good with Rockface. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Do we have enough card draw, though, now? If we run this Whirlwind and stuff, do we have enough card draw? I want to keep Wasp because it's so good against Paladin. I want to keep Town Crier. Slam is not great against Paladin necessarily. Warpath is. Axe is. Frothing is decent too, just to have. Corcoran Elite might not be worth it actually now that I look. I don't know what Corcoran does in the stack. I just added it because it's a tempo card, but I don't think it really helps that much. Are there other three drops here that we want? Like, do we add in an Acolyte of Pain, guys? We added an Acolyte, somebody suggested Acolyte, somebody suggested Valkyr. I do, I do, I do still want to make Valkyr Soul Claimer a good card. Like, I do want to try this. I, I think it's got potential still to this day. Let's see, we have Battle Rage and we have Slams for card draw. But that's it. Oh, we have Town Crier. That's six card draw cards. Uh, I kind of like the idea of maybe one Acolyte at least maybe maybe just one can i cut a two drop for it not really it's sort of well maybe a woodcutter's axe do we need this many woodcutter's axes because you don't have that many rush minions you know we have blood razor shortly after woodcutter's axe as well is militia commander good guys i don't know if this is very good it's a tar creeper sweeper which is nice Yeah, maybe that's okay. Curve-wise, that's a pretty smooth, juicy curve, I gotta say. We have late game to finish. Can we win late game value matchups, like control matchups? Gunspire can give us a lot of damage, potentially. We can we can kill people with Grom. We can do, we can do damage. Garrosh doesn't help much. We could run like a dead man's uh -huh. hand, but I don't think that's worth it. I think we're going to be a tempo deck, first and foremost. Okay, I mean, this is something. This is something. Creeper Sweeper, yep. Yeah. Uh, the repeated whirlwind effect will eventually be killing the Minister Valkyrie. Yeah, but we don't always have to go full off with Valkyrie, right? Like, it can be just a one, one time thing. Um, I just mostly need a curve. And just as a 1 4, it's pretty good against, like, Paladin, right? Like, it just trades. Even if it's not using our whirlwinds, I think it just trades a lot into small stuff and gets extra onboard value. So I like that aspect of it. Um. Let's try it. Let's just see. I don't know. I have no idea what's right. I have no idea. Try Faceless for Gunspires? Um, we already have Sudden Genesis. It's sort of the same thing as a Faceless, right? Like, it does the same with more upside. So I, I'll just keep this. I like this. Let's try this. I don't think it's going to work for the record, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> Sudden Genesis combo works better with Wow Cleaver... And Dead Man's Hand. Woke Lever and Dead Man's Hand, huh? Yeah, I have seen that before. I think somebody played that against us. Copy deck for multiple towers. I just don't think we're going to have time for that. I don't know if this is our win condition or just a part of the deck, right? Are we trying to win with Gunspire or just... I, like I said, I wasn't looking for like a Gunspire OTK or like a Gunspire shenanigans. I mostly wanted just a tempo deck that runs Gunspire as one of its tools. Because, um, like, yes, I guess if we super narrowly design the deck to support Gunspire, Gunspire will work. 
But how does Gunspire fare as just an everyday card, right? As a card that you could run in a deck. Is it still good? That's what I don't really have the answer to that I'm kind of trying to figure out. Well, this turn sucks. <laughs> I like this deck, says Maddie and Lamore. No, Regis, why? I don't think Brawl is going to be that good for us, is it? Why do we need Brawl Coverts? Why do we need Brawl? <clears throat> Why does everybody want Brawl so bad? I don't, I'm not convinced Brawl is right for us, to be honest. Is this Zoo or just a Cobalt Librarian start on a uh, cube block? I'm not sure just yet. I'm not sure just yet. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. We got a, what, a 3-6 out of that? That's not bad. Killed two minions. Got a 2-2 two -two back. I'll take it. Uh, where is our Tar Creeper Sweeper, guys? We ordered a Tar Creeper Sweeper, and it has not yet arrived in the mail. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be here by now, okay? Where is it? Um, we could just hang tight and try to kill that with Darius next turn. I think that's fine. We'll hang tight. Uh, it's a work clear against aggro. Brawl? Uh, well, obviously, I, mean, I know what Brawl does, but it's not very good in the Paladin meta, right? Warpath works just as well as Brawl in the, in the Paladin and Hunter era, right? Because rarely is there one big thing and a bunch of small things. It's just all small things nowadays. And uh, I think we'll be fine. And my nose is running, guys. Dying over here. I guess he's a Tar Creeper Sweeper too. Okay, that's not good for us. Spellbreakers might be handy, honestly, still. I wouldn't hate a Spellbreaker in this deck. Do do do. Why is everybody so sold on Brawl? Guys, we're a we're a deck that's trying to play out on curve. I, I don't think we want to Brawl. We, we're going to have a lot of minions out most of the time. I mean, our deck is very... Uh, it's not a control warrior. It's a it's much faster than that. Brawl is going to go counter to our plans most of the time, I think, dudes. I'm very confused by the Brawl uh, focus right now. I'll be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not understanding Brawl at all. Welcome. I don't think Boys, that's what we want. Make some room by the hearth, won't ya? I wanted to be the first person to do this, but the Amazon <laughs> sub was free. Then this month I accidentally used it to sub to myself. My loss, your gain. Ha ha. Oh my god, David Hasselhoff, dude, did you drop a tier 3 sub just now? Or am I seeing things, man? What? Thank you, uh, David Hulk, man. Seriously, that's definite green time. I'm, I'm gonna lose this game. We, we can't win this game already. This, this game is already over. So this is an issue. Um, easy. Being green. Having to spend each day the, the color, color of the leaves. leaves. Um, I don't know. I think this it is might a bad be answer. Being red, red or yellow, or yellow or gold. gold. Something much more colorful, colorful like, like that. that. There you go, David Hasselhoff, dude. Seriously, guys, uh, thanks to that crazy sub right now from David Hasselhoff, that puts us at 600. I, I don't even know how this is a real number. <laughs> 667 on the sub counts, guys. We're only eight subs away from 675 and the uh, sub goal at 675. <laughs> Zonox says Marigis was brawl. <laughs> Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. And they're going to find one turn where we need Brawl, and you're all going to tell me that it should have been a Brawl. <laughs> the green seems a little washed out today, does it really? Let me see. Mm, yeah, it's a little pale sometimes. It's I don't know, the lighting and everything else can change it. The shirt color, it, it freaks out sometimes. Whoa, what just happened? Uh-oh. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. I might be trapped, guys. I might or might not well, be trapped in the green. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. I thought for a second there we were trapped. Um, all right, we just slammed Gunspire here, right? And it's fine, I think. Not really, but... Well, honestly, maybe it is right. I mean, it dies in two hits, but it does soften up the board a little bit. <clears throat> he, he just runs this in and this in. 
I don't know. I don't think I can do that right now, though. This is just a two attack minion, though. This hand is just so clunky. This is not what we needed here. I mean, what, what, uh, I'm, I'm, should not stress about it, though, because, I mean, he, he double Void Lorded us on turn six, right? Like, he had two Void Lords on six. This is not a, uh, not a good summary of what's going on. Um, Punisher not running Brawl. Oh, my God. David Hasselhoff, dude, you started a legit Green Regis, uh, spam fest. I love it. <laughs> I love it. What do you think of this card? I'll check it out here in a second. If you had Brawl, the green would probably be less washed out. <laughs> uh, I'm a sub now, says Mel Reno. Is, uh, yeah, dude, thanks again. Is Baku Hunter without Leroy good? Uh, you could probably run him without Leroy. I mean, Leroy's good, but I think you'd survive without Leroy. Yeah, I think you'd be okay. All right, let's just try to get a Grom going here, make him difficult to deal with. Maybe he trades these in. I don't know. We're, we're clearly not going to win, but... Um... Even control warlock. Even control warlock. Well, you lose out on, you lose out on doom guard and void lord right off the bat. So that'd be tough. I feel like, and I don't really know that warlock's like the one class where Gen and Baku just don't seem worth it to me because the hero power is so good on its own. Like upgrading it or discounting it don't seem that valuable to me personally. Um. But, yeah, I mean, maybe we'll eventually try everything. Who knows? David Hasselhulk dropping the Blinktron and the Golden Regis together. Dude, that is sick. I love it. Um, well, Sudden Genesis is a little better all of a sudden, isn't it? What is inside of here? A couple of Doom Guards. That's not, good. That's not a good thing for us. Um, yeah, I mean, a couple of Groms is cool, though. Do I want to damage anything else first? Am I just dead, though? Like, how do I... I only have 10 health. I'm sort of just screwed no matter what I do, aren't I? I'm gonna run out of space, though. Crap. I don't have space for this anymore. Um, I'm sacrificing health on Grom to get more... No, I'm still not going to have space for this. Ugh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're dead. So what difference does it make, right? Like, we're just dead. We're very dead. I don't know what to make of this turn. Uh, he has eight damage on board. So I guess we're not technically dead, but we're pretty much dead. <clears throat> Why did I attack with the Grom first? What was the logic? There was some logic. Oh, I wanted to attack with this first. I wanted to un unpop one of those and then trade this in to get another one of these, but I don't know if that was worth it or not. Because if I whirlwinded, then this got an extra copy, right? And I didn't want this to copy itself. So that was actually right. I only wanted, I, I didn't want to whirlwind first because then this got a copy and this didn't get a copy. So I sacrificed health on Grom in order to, did he set up the Doom Guards there? Looks like he did not. He did. <laughs> Mortal Coil, great. Beautiful. Man, I've only had a brawl. Gosh, I really wish we had a brawl that game. I don't know why we didn't draw a brawl. Uh, what are your thoughts on Dire Brood Hunter by Willpone? Uh, I don't know what that is. You'd have to link me to the list. I don't know. Uh, Qdorf says, hey, but maybe you look at my deck for a second and tell me your opinion. Yeah, I can. I got a couple things to look at here. Give me one sec. Uh, somebody made a custom card. First off, Loki the Trickster, a two-mana, one-three. Start a game. If your deck has only minions, disable your opponent's starting hero power. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it, actually. <clears throat> That's pretty good. And then Egg Hunter, a deck here. Somebody linked. Um, play dead egg stuff, it looks like. I don't... Where are the eggs? Oh, they're there. Scale Eye Delsor Egg. Which one? Piper. What is that for? Draws you... What is the Witchwood Piper for? That doesn't really feel like it's worth it to me. Why do you need to draw a Vicious Scale Hide? I don't really understand that one, I guess. Oh, maybe you're... Oh, you're shuffling it in with Dire Frenzy. I see, I see, I see. Okay, never mind. I get it now. So you Dire Frenzy your Scale Hide and then draw your Scale Hide from Witchwood Piper. I mean, that's a cool idea, I guess. I don't know how consistent that is. It seems like it could be pretty inconsistent. But the egg stuff, anyway, looks pretty neat, I think. There's some neat 
pieces here. I, it's one of those decks where I just don't have enough insights into it to say if it'd be good or not. But it doesn't look bad, necessarily. Nothing looks totally out of place, I guess. Seems like it might be too conditional and combo-y, though, to be consistently good. I'm not a sub, but does this count? Yeah, dude, that's a lot of green. That looks green to me. So, yeah, I think it counts. I definitely think it counts. I have played five games against Q-Block in a row. Ugh, sorry, dude. That's no fun. Oh, this looks like a big mage of some sort here, guys. I like it. Fortunately, that has two attacks, so it kills my Battle Rage for now. Um, we could Warpath Battle Rage next turn to draw a bunch of cards, but I don't know if that's worth it. Did I trade two cards for three cards? Well, assuming three things are even alive by then. Assuming they're even around. Uh, we may not even need to then. Actually, thanks to that, we can just draw three cards. That's going to be cool. That's a really good play for us. Really, really good play for us. <clears throat> Stone Test Boar might be better than Scalehide for that deck. Oh, yeah, that makes some sense. I like that idea. Yeah, let's just trade these in and Battle Rage and see where we go, right? We might get a Town Crier play even. We have not taken face damage, unfortunately, but... Uh, Red Man Wasp is solid. I like that. We'll just... Uh, Go ahead and attack here. It does take the trade back, but that's okay. It at least clears it, unlike these, which give him value trade opportunities. Um, okay, so we have a we have a gunspire hand. We have a blood razor. We have things to do, but we don't have much of a board. We don't have a lot of pressure. He's gonna be a control deck, so we're gonna have to work some magic here. Some real oh my goodness gracious, dude. What? Um, Alright, let's just trade in. It's, they're all gonna die anyway. I'll go ahead and hit face just in case I want the whirlwind next turn, right? A lot of stuff went off there. That took forever. I was like, so many boom, 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 boom. That was scary. That, that, this was on board for all those animations. I was like, oh no, did I accidentally kill my town crier? The animation ordering there just felt very uh, counterintuitive. Oh, uh, well, this is pretty good. Defend the gates. Okay. Maybe we Acolyte next turn? I don't know, that one health there is a little little, little iffy here with the, uh, the, the weapon, isn't it? Thankfully he dealt with it for us. Um, maybe we draw first here. Like, let's just draw. Let's not worry too... How much damage can I do to this? This is three, four... This could technically kill it, I guess. It's like a 50-50 to kill the uh, Twilight Drake. You guys think that's worth you guys think that's worth to take a 50-50? I don't think so yet, because we can make the uh, we can make the gunspire better on future turns, right? So let's just hold for now. Um, let me just draw a card here. I may not even attack the Drake yet. No, I might go ahead and attack it. Three damage. It's gonna put it to four. That's that's a good number for me, I think. We can equip this again to draw another card. It kills our guy, but maybe I should have attacked in then. Maybe I should have attacked it in. Probably so, if it's dead. I was thinking it was going to linger, but then I decided to play the second uh, the second Razor, so it got a little worse. Um, what pro game do you use to show your deck? This is Hearthstone Deck Tracker. If you just Google Hearthstone Deck Tracker, you'll, uh, you'll find it. Brawl is also 50-50 run that. <laughs> Oh, guys, I love you all so much. You're all great. It's not the least bit sarcastic, I'm telling you what. It's not remotely sarcastic. Um, Alright, so we can, like, whirlwind or slam and then, like, I don't know, something else. <laughs> you know, like, slam and then do something. We could also just warpath here, like, just through the board, right? Just cast it three times, attack, and play, uh... I don't know. Armor up. <laughs> um, we do lose, like, 
Gunspire Warpath value in the future. But I don't I don't know what this deck's about, by the way. Is this, what is this deck? It's like a control mage, but he hasn't played any spells yet, which makes me really suspicious that it's going to be like Spiteful Summoner or like... I don't know, Aragal all minion or something? I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh my god, I did not make a play at all here and I'm very sad about it. Um, I really hope I have time for this. I don't even know if that was good, but it was something. It wasn't really too worth to slam I and mean, we were gonna kill that anyway, but I just wanted the card. Maybe we could have saved it for later, though. Uh, we do have a cool Frothing Berserker set up right now. We're going to get Whirlwinded pretty hard. Uh, we can double Whirlwind Gunspire next turn. That does six damage. Oh, God. I, th I thought we said we didn't need Execute, guys. Didn't somebody say we, we didn't need Execute? That's what I heard. <laughs> I, was, I was told there would be no Execute necessary. Um, all right. Let's just play super hard into Death and Decay, okay? I think that's a good plan. We could kill that with... Uh, no, we can't kill that with Darius. We can only do... 7. Well, we could with Whirlwind, too, but... Um, okay, let's just try to make him answer all of this stuff, right? I am almost dead, though. This might not be worth. I only have 5 health. I only have 5 health right now. I'm not sure this is worth. <laughs> I don't know if 5 health is right. I don't know. I, he hasn't played any spells yet, so I don't know what the deal is. But Death Coil is now lethal, and Frostmort is now lethal. So I gave him, like, half of the pool. Oh, God. That's not good either. Oh, we have some major problems here, guys. <laughs> There's a spell! We got baited into this, like, no spell mindset. What is this deck? Is it just a big spell maze that just happened to run a lot of minions already, or what? I don't really know the deal there. That was odd. Um, I can Garrosh, but I go down to one health, so that's not very good. Uh, I can Crowley plus Whirlwind, I guess, stay alive. I mean, staying alive is, is usually pretty good. Could draw this first. Uh, the Militia Commander is better, but the Red Man Wasp is... Actually, the Red Man Wasp is fine, too. Neither one of these is good. Militia Commander just gets me the straight kill, that's fine. So now we try to stay alive, right? Like, now we're just in survival mode. But we don't have much in the way of resources, so we're in trouble. Well, you wanted spells! <laughs> shh! Shh! I was, happy with, I was happy with the no spell world. I thought that was pretty good. And then, then spells made my life bad. Alright, Keysmith. I can face tank that, I guess. I'm getting kind of to the point where Gunspire's getting worse. But we do have Garrosh, so... I don't know. Crowley here takes a good trade, too. Mere Entity is a bit of a risk with Crowley, though. I don't want to give him a 4-4. Four, four. That's an issue. I could just Garrosh. The weapon would kill both. I could armor up first, since I don't really need the Whirlwind if I Garrosh. I just attack in. But do I not have enough life in that scenario? Two secrets. So I would say counter spells pretty likely. And I would say I don't know. The other one my no idea. There's no way to know. Zero way to know. Um I'm gonna attack, so let's test for ice barrier first. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna garrosh. Do I even want this weapon? I don't need it, it's pointless. I need the other weapon, so it doesn't matter. I don't have a rush menu to play first, so we're just gonna clear board. Go down to whatever health total we're at. I don't know. 12 or something. No, 10. 10. Okay. So now we do have some nice, consistent activations for Gunspire. For instance, we can do 6 damage next turn with it. Uh, we can also buff Grom consistently too, which is nice. This weapon is good, but I can't use it too much because I'll die. <laughs> it's an issue. He almost definitely runs Pyroblast. You think so? Is this like a... I, I still don't know exactly what this is, but... Oh my god, anti-magic shell. Holy moly. So whirlwind, I have six damage on this. But if I... I, I guess I can just go ahead and gunspire and see what happens on the math, right? Um, well, what if we give him... 
could still be mere entity, couldn't it? We don't know. You know, I guess this isn't that bad with mere entity. He can only activate it once per turn. But I'll activate it for him. Oh no. Frozen clone is okay. That's fine. It's a mere entity that's the problem. Uh, we might get whirlwind in here too, though, so we gotta be careful. Or we might get counterspelled. I don't know. I need this to hit this guy, though. Mostly. Just hit this guy right here. This guy right here. That's the wrong guy. That is absolutely the wrong guy. There's the counterspell. So I'm, uh, I'm sort of just dead then. He's 8 and 9 and I'm at 10. No, but that goes down to 2, though, so that's less. Um, okay, well this sucks. <laughs> the, the counterspell really wrecked us and the bad roll wrecked us, too. Maybe I should have just played Grom or something. I was scared, though, of the, uh, I think rightfully scared of the, uh, that goes down to three, excuse me, not two. Rightfully scared of the, oh boy, I'm scared of everything now. Okay, so we can Sudden Genesis plus hero power. That's honestly pretty good. Yeah, I can, I can even Red Man Wasp and then hero power and then Sudden Genesis, right? Um, to get even more dudes. No, no, I want a Sudden Genesis first to get multiple pings, actually. Um, yeah, that's 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 better. I can also battle rage. Um, Time passes. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know. Let's see what happens. I mean, that's sort of good. I'm like out of cards though, and I'm I'm I have basically zero health. <laughs> I'm just not in a great spot here. I have two health and two cards. <laughs> I feel like winning from here is gonna be tough. I feel like it's gonna be tough. I don't know. This doesn't seem good. Um. Okay, that's hitting a lot. That's cool. Alrighty. I have another sudden genesis here, but unfortunately. Unfortunately, these have almost no health remaining, which is a which is a problem, <laughs> to say the least. Uh -huh. um, so I can't even use my weapons. I'm pretty much dead, right? Now, what if I play Grom here and I I trade it in, and then I whirlwind. No, that won't work because this will. This will only go down to three, even if it hits. It'll only go down to two, but I can't even attack that. So I think my only play really is to get a taunt off of Rot Face, right? I think that's my only good good play here. I could slam and then Sudden Genesis and Whirlwind and hit this for six. No, that doesn't work either. I don't even know. I have to pee really bad though, so I'm thinking about just trying to end the game and going to pee. <laughs> like that's my that's my current goal. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go pee real quick. I'll be right back. We'll play another 30, 40 minutes of this, but uh, give me give me just a second here. So I built a deck that contains like 87 million whirlwind effects so that we could beat Paladin. And we cannot find a Paladin now. Where did all the Paladins go? We played Paladins all day. Every other game has been Paladin today, basically. Maybe every game. Maybe not, not even every game. Every game has been Paladin. And and Hunter. And now that we shift into this whirlwind deck, it's all cube blocks. It's only cube block. That's it. Where did the Paladins go? I, I, I'm terrible against control decks. That's not what we're supposed to be about. We're like a mid-range deck that... Um, that stomps on aggro, and unfortunately, we haven't seen we haven't seen any of it. Uh, Donzel says, "Hey, you read his home from work. How's it going?" Sorry, we answered this question earlier, but I didn't hear the answer. Uh, we plan on doing Control Hunter. Yeah, I, I have a. Um, ooh, now this is spicier here. We got Zoo. That's good. Now we can handle Zoo. We'll, we'll compete with Zoo. I think not the best hand necessarily, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do eventually like a Imris Zombies Hunter. I think like not exactly like the best, right? But that's the idea, anyway. I'll go ahead and kill this. We don't care that it's uh, not getting the rush buff. That's fine. 
I want I want minions to die. First and foremost. I can double Warpath here. Could also just trade Battle Rage. Oh, slam trade is good too. Um honestly though, double warpath trade is kinda juicy. Just because I draw so many cards, but we'll just slam trade, it's fine. I don't want to overthink it. Town is a great draw. Great draw. Just to get me back on the board, right? That's a good draw too. Okay, we got a decent little hand here. Decent little hand. Got some good plays. Sudden Genesis, I don't know how good that's going to be in this matchup, but I just like that we're ahead on board. We've uh, we've got to navigate some Keliseth value. That's going to be tough. But hopefully we can just kind of push through. Oh no, she's not a Tar Creeper Sweeper if the Tar Creeper has 6 health, guys! <laughs> she loses her Tar Creeper Sweeper status! No! Thank god this guy's out there, though. She does trade. It's for something. Doesn't leave the webcam on when he gets up because he's so tall, it'll just keep going and going and going. Yeah, you guys would basically see my ankles so tall. Um, do you have any suggestions on what legendary cards to craft? Uh, I'm not making any specific recommendations yet. I think uh, Baku looks like a pretty good choice right now, but it's just really early still, guys. Really early the same. Ooh, man, I, do I have to cast three Warpaths here just to set up for Warpath next turn? I could just play Frothing Berserker and like make it awkward that he trades in the 4-5, you know? And, and the Soul Claimer so that it's awkward that way too i guess I yeah i'm just gonna like force him to take some well this one's not too awkward because the despicable dreadlord will ping off the one health after he trades in the three two but this goes down to one this will summon a two two which would kind of set up a board um uh, i'm gonna take a passive turn here to reckon with warpath next turn i think what if he plays uh doom guard though can i be doom guard I don't know. I don't know that I have a choice. Just gonna give him some freebies here to set it up. Just soften his board up, right? Like, throw some some speed bumps out. Let him uh, let him run over them real quick, and then we'll warpath him down. Warpath him to death. I need more rush minions, I think, in this matchup. Oh, God almighty. Oh, that's the opposite of what I needed. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Why would you do it that? Oh, that's not even me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I didn't even think about that line. That's better. I don't get the 2-2 out of that. But anyway, we're going to be able to kill these. Well, actually, we can't kill the Dreadlord now, can we? Oh, boy. Warpath times 3 deals with a lot, but leaves 13 damage on board. I just think we're screwed. I don't know what to do. I gotta do it because we're gonna die if we don't, but it's uh, not very good. And the 9 7 is just too much to deal with. We don't need execute, yeah. Shh. How's that for a soft board? Shh. Hey, Mountain Dude, how's it going, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. Hope you're going well. Uh, let's see here. Oh, great. Yippee. We did great against Zoo, guys. Oh, what is wrong with our tech here? What is wrong with it? Why is it failing so hard? It does feel like we keep whiffing the mid-game turns. Like, I don't think we have enough proactive mid-game turns. Uh, Mox Ruby, isn't that like a Magic the Gathering card name? I think so. One mana custom card here somebody made. It's called, it says deal one damage, start a game. If your deck has only spells, give your hero spell damage plus one. Hmm. Only spells and mage would be tough, I feel like. Man, I don't know if that'd be worth it. I don't think that'd be enough to make up for the lack of spells. Well, that's a good one drop, at least. Um, okay, mage, this is going to be the last custom card. I feel like I've looked at, like, 25 today. <laughs> let's, let's save some for next time, okay? Uh, Gora Garn Alpha, a, uh, another custom card, a hunter minion, 5 mana, 5, 4 beast. It says start a game. If all the minions in your deck are beasts, if all minions in your deck plus one attack. Oh, that's another one. I don't even know if that's possible. I like the idea of it, but is it possible to get there? I'm not sure. This is some kind of egg druid. What is this about? Brawl would have been clutched there. <laughs> Shut it, dude. It actually would have been. That's triggered me a little bit because it really would have been good. That would have been a nice little brawl, I have to say. Man, you got me. 
You got me! Egg Druid, is this like a token deck or a dragon spiteful deck or a... What is the deal here? Why do you want eggs? What are the eggs for? What do the eggs do? How do you buff the eggs? Mark of the Wild? Ferocious House, it's Hand Druid. Nice little shield block you have there. It's Hand Druid, but also... I don't know, I'm glad we made it to the bottom of rank 5, so now we can play some garbage decks. But where are the Paladins? We built this deck specifically, we honed it into Paladin. And we've yet to see one. It's all stuff that isn't remotely similar to Paladin in the slightest. We're <laughs> not even close to Paladin yet. And we have, an, again, a terrible hand. Just miserable. <laughs> this thing is, look, it does it doesn't allow us to trade in any of our stuff. Oh my god. Um, I'm just going to double warp out here to, to generate some dudes and draw some cards, right? Let's see how that goes. Uh, we could alternatively slam, but I think this is still better. Um, I don't really want to kill this for him. I don't know that I if I should or shouldn't. Uh, maybe I should, because the dragon in hand might not be that relevant, right? We don't know. But uh, I'm not going to do it for him. Just I don't want to give him the freebie. Maybe he's going to buff it and punish us. But I love your thoughts on this. It's the control hunter I mentioned earlier. I found mixed to average success so far. But I can't decide if Crush or Deathwing with Emrys buff is better finisher. Um, let's see. Well, I, I think it's risky to say that Deathwing's a finisher in the first place. Like I don't know if that's ever a good thing to say. Just because... Um, do I leave that up for a turn? Do I maybe just attack face and sustain that damage? He's not going to heal it, right? So maybe we just go face here. Maybe we just go face. I'm going to take four here to set up a better play next turn. I'm going to disrespect the one health. And I'm probably going to get punished, but that's okay. To play a taunt that's like got nine attack or something, a nine one taunt somehow that I, <laughs> I don't want to hit. Uh, that's fine. That's really slow actually. I'm really happy about that. That means I can maybe get both Frothing Berserkers here on board with a ton of attack if he doesn't do anything else here. Or if he plays a small minion even, I should be able to kill it. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're golden. This is a beautiful turn. This is a beautiful turn. I don't know. He might have an answer to this. I don't know, of course, but... These seem like they're going to be nice, so. Okay. Spreading Plague is not very good, for instance. Like, these just trade in. Uh, we have a couple decent uh, rush dudes. We can, Oh, my God. We can Sudden Genesis to make a, a giant board of Frothing Berserkers. Oh, my God. That sounds fun. I don't know if it's good, but it sure sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds fun. What do you play here? Like a Mountain Giant? Rotten Apple... Apple Dude. One of my favorite cards. Rotten Apple Dude. It's his name. Official name. Rotten Apple Dude. Well, Mr. Commander's pretty good against that, I have to say. Uh, might even slam the egg here just to buff these a little bit and uh, see what we get, right? Oh, that's a good draw, too. That's a good draw, too. Defend the Gites! <laughs> I love her voice. It's such a good voice line. So funny, Zabby. Okay. That's not bad. Couple eight threes on board. Uh, anyway, I think uh, Deathwing as a finisher is kind of a risky move. I would say go for King Crush. I like King Crush better in that deck. I like it otherwise, though. The egg's probably going to give him a Deathwing. Oh, you. Oh, don't you even, dude. Dude, you're going to get banned if he gets Deathwing, just so you know. Like, I want you to be aware. That's bannable. <laughs> that's, that's a bannable offense in my mind, sir. Uh, Grom here looks pretty solid. And this really punished his spreading play a lot. That hurt him. He didn't have a swipe, but he already used one, so that's good. Does he have, like, Primordial Drake? Because that's going to make the, uh... Ooh, this is almost way better. If I had the Whirlwind with it, it would be so freaking good. Fortunately, I do not. I could go for a crazy Sudden Genesis here. Uh, I don't think I have any sort of lethal, do I? I need to be careful and check, honestly. Redman Wasp plus Slam... What if I red band wasp and attack and then sudden genesis it? That that um 
would clear one of these. The Frothing would clear the other, but I don't have a way to clear the third in that scenario. I can't double. If I could double Red Band Wasp and... No, I don't think that'd do it either. I think we just play Grom and attack, right? It's fine. Because because here's the deal, right? Like, if, if he does have the Primordial Drake, Grom's going to trade into it really nicely. Um, we'll be able to play, like... Sudden Gen Actually, Sudden Genesis will, will probably just end the game, or very closely end the game. We'll see. Is the stream schedule shown accurate? Um, so far, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Solox says, prepare Span Hammer. <laughs> don't, don't, guys, don't jinx me. Please don't. There's a portal thing. That's to be expected. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can Sudden Genesis into... The second Grom here. We can almost make three Groms, but we can't. So we can hit him for ten, presumably. Right now, at least, based on what we see. But that's not a lethal yet. I don't care too much about Tree Ants. Does Crowley plus Slam plus Wasps ever look better? No, I don't think so. I can Slam just to see what we get, but I don't think it ever changes the math, does it? I think we always just Sudden Genesis... Might even just double Wasp to get more threatening minions out there, right? Five mana Grom is a pretty good play, guys. Well, this could hurt us, though, with Spreading Plague. Actually, maybe we just armor up. Like, I don't know how he deals with this. Let's just armor up. Spreading Plague is one way to answer this. A second Primordial Drake, I guess, wouldn't be too bad. Um, Lich King plus a... Spell um, do I have a lethal here? Rom plus Slam is only six. Crowley plus double Red Band. Oh, no, I do have a lethal. I'm dumb. I have a... I sort of have a second Sudden Genesis, guys. <laughs> I know, you're screaming lethal. Chill out. I didn't see it, okay? Just relax. Relax. <laughs> I see it, okay? Give me one second. You guys don't ever give me enough time. You never give me enough time. Uh, it would if you ran Execute. Slam your Wasp, then Genesis? Um, did we have enough mana for that? That would have been four and four. That might have been... That might have done it. Yeah, that might have done it. That might have done it. Slam Wasp and then Genesis. I don't even remember the board state now, but... You good, you good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why is Doom not in this deck? You're out of here, too. Everybody's banned. <laughs> Everyone's banned. I'm banning all of you. Everyone is banned. Always. Just always banned. What? Guys, um, let me tell you guys. Paladin got you down? Not feeling like playing Paladin today? Sick of Baku? Sick of getting Greymane? Sick of Silverhand dudes? You don't want to play Paladin? I've got the answer for you right now. Low cost of $9.99. I'll send you a deck list that guarantees you'll never have to play Paladin again. Just run Whirlwinds. Run Warpaths. Run Valkyrie Soul Claimers. Run Blood Razors. Run Red Band Wasp. Run Fireflies. You do that? Paladins are gone forever. You never have to deal with Paladins ever again your whole life. Congratulations. You'll never run into Paladin on the rank ladder again. <laughs> For the low price of $9.99. Um, the low price. Uh, <laughs> Zone Hawk, dude, that's a pretty, pretty effective looking message, I have to say. That looks legit. Gin Greymane Warlock, so I don't even know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the exact same thing happened when I made my Baku War today, dodged all the aggro decks. Yeah. I mean, I built this list specifically for Paladin. And, I mean, we won a game. Hey, we're still competing. I mean, that was a fun last game. That was neat. We're, uh... We're one and three so far, which, you know, sounds bad, but we've played a lot... We've played a lot of um, of Warlock so far, which is such a bad matchup for us, of course, that I don't feel too bad. Is this worth it ever to cycle this into something? 
I actually think it is worth it. I think it's worth it to cycle it. Just because we want to thin out the deck anyway, right? Like, we want to get this garbage out to get to Rot Face, to get to Grom, to get to Sudden Genesis, that sort of thing. <clears throat> what is the best legendary craft right now? Uh, probably Baku, but I'm not really making firm recommendations yet because it's still very, very early in the expansion. I don't want you guys to waste your dust, right? I want you guys to have good dust. I want your dust to be nice, valuable dust. Now... I have to think about this a lot. Like, what is the what is the centerpiece here? Like, Mountain Giant, probably? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm glad we... Remember, guys, when I said, Executes bad against Paladin. <laughs> I remember saying that. <laughs> I, I do remember that. I do remember that. Um, if we trade here, this goes to four. It goes to six. Can't really kill it. Um... I don't know. I may have to just throw this away anyway. But I really want damaged minions here. Uh, and I need to, I need my face to be damaged too to make Battle Rage better. Maybe I just Battle Rage anyway. Alright. Sure. Whirlwind's bad against Warlock. Let's cut it. <laughs> Let's just cut the whole deck if we're only playing Warlocks, right? <laughs> Like, let's just not play this deck, I think. Um, oh, boy. It's like old school handlock. I love it, dude. That's fun. That's really, really cool. How do we win this game from here? How do we win this game from here? I don't think we do. I think the answer is we don't win this game from here. Uh, this goes down to three. So we actually kind of have to trade this, don't we? To kill it. We leave up the, the Drake, but we kill everything else. I just, we don't have anything, though. Gunspire's not going to be good to play out here. That's not going to work. Baron Geddon destroys Pally. There's, nobody plays Paladin anymore. Uh, if, as soon as you queue up Pal anti-Paladin X, you, uh... You don't ever see Paladin again. That's a cool intro animation. That's worth the price of admission here. That's worth the price of admission. I'm running a budget hunter deck, doing really well. Deals nice to be. Uh, feels nice to beat pay to winners. Cool, dude. Good. I'm gonna be making some budget decks before too long. I'm always hoping that they succeed. Siphon Soul, maybe? Honestly, this was worth it already. I love it. <laughs> Just straight it in. I'm fine with that. That's good. Um, okay. That actually got a lot of value. That was a sick Gunspire. Holy crap. That's the best Gunspire we've had yet. That was amazing. That did a t killed two minions in and did three face damage. I love it. I don't think he calculated that Defile going off. Like it did. I think he forgot that's gonna activate it or something. I don't know. That was awesome. <laughs> Tempo gun just played it on board. No combo, no activation, and it was great. We killed seven health and minions, basically. Another defile. Um yeah, thanks. Again. Awesome! Did he think that was going to infinite chain, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. This is not very good. I don't, do I actually play... Do I ever play Sudden Genesis here? Just to get an enormous board? He's already double defiled. He might have Hellfire, though, I guess. Hellfire would be kind of annoying. I think I'll just play this. Because I have that Blood Razor I might want to attack with in a future turn, right? Your opponent's a potato. No, he's Kev the Bev. He's not a potato. It doesn't say a potato. It says Kev the Bev. <laughs> Never let the noobs have defile. Yeah, I don't know, guys. There's been some interesting plays. I'll say that. I mean... Why? <laughs> I guess he didn't have anything else to do, but I mean... Alright. Um... 
And again, execute would sure be nice, guys. Darius. Um, still doesn't kill that, unfortunately. I can't play both of these. That's sad. So I'll just do this and attack face some more. Like, we're kind of making a thing about this now. He's like getting low at this point, and he's had some very strange plays. If I draw a rot face here or a Grom, well, if I draw Grom, we're definitely in business. Wow, yes, draw Grom, please draw Grom. Oh no, does that have any minions? Just the homunculus is it, right? Okay. There's no void lords anyway, so I mean, it's not like he's gonna get void lords, but um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and sun, sun genesis this, I think. Cause we, we need the minions out, right? Like, we need good minions. And they are out of... I mean, a 6-4 for 5 mana that can get bigger, I think is worth. I think it's worth, personally. Like, I just want to make sure I can apply enough pressure and keep him on the back foot here. Double Darius Crowley. Um, uh, Crowley Genesis, yeah, I think it's right. It's weird, it's not normally how you want to use it, but I'm going to run out of time and cards here because this hero power is going to overwhelm us if I don't just go. So we kind of have to commit right now. Like, we just got to win the game in the next couple turns. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that was pretty good. Wasn't expecting that to happen, I'll be honest. All right, so we lose the game. We definitely lose the game. Glad we kept this whirlwind, guys. Hey, Regis, what is your advice to a main arena player like me to have fun and constructive because it feels so boring and repetitive, but I want to get that legend card back so badly. Oh, man, I don't know. If you like arena, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, it's a very different game mode. It's, you know, you, you do play a lot of the same decks over and over again, and you play the same deck over and over again yourself, so there's just, just a lot of repetition. I mean, you could try to build a collection with, you know, not many decks. Um, I mean, with a bunch of decks where you play like rotate between five or six decks or whatever, and and uh, and oh shoot, I gotta do this again. Crap! I was thinking a roll was gonna go off, but it was not. Could not attack last turn. What is this deck? It's a great deck. Best deck. It makes you not queue into Paladin, so it's a very powerful tool. <laughs> very powerful Aha. tool. Okay. We are going to bleed out soon. Oh my god. So he has a seven. I can't win with Grom anymore. This is not good. Not good. Uh, we're not run a Prince, Zola, and Cubes. Maximize Gunspire. I, I'm not trying to make like a crazy Gunspire OTK, guys. I think that's always a trap we fall into a lot. Me included, everybody, all Hearthstone players, like building your deck around one card. Uh, it's, it's really more just we're trying to test Gunspire in a deck that is otherwise still doing something. It's a... Basically a tempo warrior deck of old, but seeing how Gunspire fits into that world, right? Does it work? Can you make it? This is well. I mean, at least we got a really good play to end here, guys. Like this is a great play. <laughs> sick, sick value. <laughs> You can't get a Paladin at rank 5. They're all Legend. That may be it, honestly. Like, we ranked too far, and now we won't see Paladins. We've been playing Paladin all day, and I made this deck to counter Paladin. It's really sad, because I'm not going to get a feel for what this deck is actually designed to do. Like, we wanted to see if this was good in the Paladin world, and we're not seeing any Paladins, so we just can't get a feel for it. And I know that as soon as we do play Paladin, we will have exactly Gunspire, Grom, Rotface, and Garrosh in our mulligan, so it won't matter. Um... Alright, so I'm going to try for Paladin one more time, but i got to run here shortly, guys. Probably one last game here. Turn 10, uh, Firefly into Sudden Genesis into Attack Face with uh, Blood Razor was really, really good. <laughs> the combo. 
Xanalon says, hey, you guys, I've been playing lots of Arsene today, really trying to focus, but I'll be here for the rest of the stream. How has your day been? It's been great, man. Um... I'm gonna try to find a paladin real fast, guys. I'm already at the bottom of the ranks anyway. I can't de-rank, so there's no there's no point to like we can give away some wins here without stressing, right? So I want to see if I can hit a paladin. Just want to hit a paladin. Does anyone know if Camellios is good? Uh, I've seen people running it. I still think it's pretty solid. I like it a lot. Paladin, paladin, where is that beautiful paladin? Win trader confirmed. Uh, paladin, paladin. I want to see a paladin. Just one little paladin's all I need. I, I, I can't fathom it. All day today, we've played paladin over and over again. All day. Every day. And uh, none to be seen today. I... What? Seriously, what is the deal? I'm actually getting a little bit suspicious now. <laughs> Kira said death, victory or death, and he said I choose death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is kind of funny. Alright, one last try, and then I'll just play whatever we get. I'm not going to do this all day. Like, this is dumb. If you had a brawl in your deck, you'd probably find a pally. <laughs> Both of my experiments today have just been complete and utter garbage. I actually think this deck is okay for what it's designed to do, which is beat Hunter and Paladin. And we can't find one. They just vanished. So, I mean, it's a meta read. It's not good right now, but I feel like it would be decent in the right meta, in the right frame. I think this could be a solid deck. Hopefully this guy will be like Pirates or some garbage for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> for some reason... You have to name your deck not anti-paladin. <laughs> that's, that's honestly a pretty good trick. Then they'll know. Then they'll know it's not designed for anti-paladin. <laughs> as soon as you switch decks, 100% paladin. Yep, that's confirmed too. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Um... Okay. That's actually fine. He gives me the attack here. We play the frothing to buff it. That's good. Not anti paladin. <laughs> We're gonna trick Blizzard. Oh boy. Mirror match. Yeah, I can tell. Baku is exactly like our deck. It is indeed. Same exact deck. Papa Zeus here. I don't think we have enough minions to win this matchup, right, guys? The 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 kind of decks that beat the Baku Warrior are mid rangey minion decks, right? Where you just, um. Where you slam a ton of minions. This actually is gonna get to hit face, so this might be able to carry us. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Do I wanna give him a good brawl or do I wanna play Slam Woodcutters? I think I play Slam Woodcutters and that actually sets up for the Militia Commander next turn to be better, too. Okay. This is going to hit really, really hard. We have 12, 14 on board already. I mean, if he... Ah, yeah, we have a shot here, guys. He can... He can't coin. He's already coined, so... He can't brawl yet anyway. Maybe I should have played this then. I don't know that it matters. This gets buffed, which is nice, but... It actually is really nice, because it, it, the two attack when it hangs out on board is just not that exciting. But if it goes to four attack and it's hanging out on board, that's honestly really, really good. Ooh, we're gonna buff this bad boy again! Defend the gates! Defend the gates. It could buff either of these. I'm gonna take the 50-50 here and try to get this damage through on the, uh, the wasp. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, sweet, we got it. Nice. Uh, I'm not gonna play this for Brawl. I want one of these awesome minions to live, right? Like... One of these needs to live here. Oh, no brawl. That's a good sign. Reckless Flurry clears the board, though. No! No! Blood Razor is solid, because it's just two damage. That's enough, honestly. Like, that's good. That's, let's, that gets us real close here. Particularly with Black Hell Gunspire coming down next turn. 
Uh, we might be able to do this. Like, Black Owl and Blood Razor hit for five, and we have the two on board. He heals to six normally. So we theoretically have seven damage if these things live, and he doesn't heal beyond six. We have, we have it lined up here. A taunt is problematic, I guess. That one in particular is kind of tough. I think I'll still Gunspire, because it's hard for him to deal with. Um, oh, this is uh, actually 50-50, uh, isn't it? Is this... Yeah, this is a 50-50. Okay. Did that end the game, then? It did. <laughs> yes! We did it! Gunspire sealed the deal, stole the win, we beat a quest warrior. Yes! Oh my god. We did it, guys. So the deck actually ended up going two and... How many of those games that I conceded three? So we can delete those. Let me delete those real fast and get the final uh, the final tally here. Because the concedes obviously don't count. I mean, we might have lost those games. Who knows? But um, we never played them out. So the deck, as far as we know it, we know it finished two and four. Two, two and four. So thirty-three percent. Not great. But if you add in. If you take out the pallet or the uh, warlock games and you add in some paladins, boom! I think you got yourself a deck. And there you go. That was the Black Howl Gunspire Tempo Warrior. I felt like the deck was close. It wasn't really working, but I was pleasantly surprised by Black Howl Gunspire. So I think we still learned something valuable. Didn't feel like a terrible card to so sometimes just play on curve and hope for the best and let it cause some problems for your opponent. That was kind of nifty to see. All that said, of course, if you guys have thoughts, comments, questions on this deck, you should share those in the comments below. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, game on.